I would say, welcome to Unearthed Arcana, but... You can't. It's not that. You it's... legally can't say that. I don't even know what the title of this video is. I don't know what's on the screen right now. Neil, you had a good idea. An artist's guide to Wildemount. That was your Yeah, that was your to well, yeah but uh, I think because I know what you think of this class, it might be an artist's <laughs> gripe about well. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. If you've not watched any of the other videos we've, that, on this channel about subclasses, basically we've, what we've been doing, I've been drawing the subclasses that have been coming out in Unearth Darkana, and we've been chatting about them, giving our thoughts on them. We haven't played any of them because... We haven't had time, really. But, you know, we know about D- we know about D&D. We know what the numbers We've are. We've done it for, like, a decade. We've crunched the numbers. <laughs> yeah. So. We, we got into D&D just before it got cool again. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we crested like the wave. a year before it got cool again. We're going to be talking about the Echo Knight, which is one of the new subclasses that's in Matthew Mercer's... Uh, I, I said, why did I say it like that? He's a nice guy. You said it so contemptuously. He's, like, he's, he's one of the he's, loveliest he's, people. It's just envy. <laughs> it's envy. It it's really just is envy. envy. He's... It's a great guy. It's a Critical Role campaign book, isn't it? Yes. Full disclosure, I've seen like clips of Critical Role out of context, like funny bits, but I've not a... Uh, there's a lot of it, man. Mm. I've also uh, done the same. I've seen some clips and good animations by talented people on YouTube when they appear in my recommended box, but I've not watched an episode yet. Uh, I'm an avid fan who has watched all of season one and most of two. There we go. There so we go. N- Neil's the hero he today. Can, he, can, he can take the helm. <laughs> it's, it's a... All... <laughs> I have to edit that so it's at the beginning so that people don't click off as soon as I say it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Probably a bad order for that one. I'm just, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, So yeah, the Echo Knight is is what we're going to be talking about in this video. It's a fighter subclass. Like all of these subclasses, I think this one, even more so perhaps than the other two, it's really, like, lore-specific to the setting, which is... If you're buying the Critical Role campaign book, you probably want that. So that's, mm. I don't think that's an issue with it. But for me, obviously, I'm just like, I'm just some guy. And I read it, I go, I don't know what that is. The Kuren Dynasty? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I suppose that's the same with a casual D&D fan and Modrons and, like, the yeah. clockwork. You know, I, there's so, there's so very... much that's like, yeah, you look at it from, like, an outsider looking in until you really... Yeah, it. yeah. I don't. I. I. I could. I couldn't name most of the planes that exist in D and D. There's like a load of them. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you can definitely take them out of the context of the setting without too much issue. So it's not. That's not the. That's mm. not my gripe. I do have a few gripes about the subclass. Yeah, a crux. I think I should just say to like begin all of the these. Like, if we do talk about more of them, is yeah, that yeah. they're all to do with uh, Critical Role season two and uh, Dunamancy and everything that comes up with that. So if you do want to know more about it, just go watch it. <laughs> yeah. Go watch Crit Roll. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, and the, um, the the this whole, all these different types of magic, be that this Echo, uh, Echo Knight and the other ones, they're all to do with time and space and in some ways ancestry and like the self yeah. and stuff like that. A bit kind yeah. of high concept stuff. Okay, so the Echo Knight, this is the f- this first, like, paragraph. We're not going to read it all out loud because this is a book that you should go uh, either buy the whole book if you want it, or if you go on to um, D&D Beyond, you can just buy the subclasses separately for a pretty cheap price, so I highly recommend that. I'll probably put a link to that in the description. Support anyway. your boy, Matt. Yeah, g- give give Matt and the wizards some, some money. Toss, toss your you coin. Can. You know, that's a toss reference. A coin to, toss a coin to your wizards. There you go. <laughs> 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 that's a reference for the kids. That's for the kids. The, the idea of this fighter, you're you, you're the Echo Knight, is that you're like using this uh, du- dunamis dunamancy stuff to like access different timeline versions of yourself. Right. That that's mm. my understanding of it. So when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah. This is something I've occasionally thought about, not in the context of D and D, but in the context of like comics and stuff. The idea of, like, alternate timelines, like, having differences and th- and where they kind of cross over, I think, is a very cool thing. We'll probably talk about the actual class, and then at the end, I'll talk about what I would like this class to be, mm. uh, if I was making it. Uh, but that, that's the concept. Very very cool concept. The idea of of a, a fighter who is, you know, so, so, there's something like sh- shades from different uh, timelines. It's not different universes, it's different, like, possibilities, uh, is the way I've understood it. Mm. Yeah, that's what the little fluff says, definitely. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's the introduction to it. Um, 
So obviously you're a fighter, you're, you get to the third level. Your main thing that you get is you can summon a guy. You can summon a, a shadow. An echo. Yeah. An echo, yes, an echo, yes. Uh, who's like a, a translucent grey version of yourself and you can command it to do stuff. It has its own AC. I th- Does it have its own health? I believe yeah, it, it has, has one, one hit point. point. Yeah, so it has one hit point, yeah. So command it to do some stuff. You can make it move and you can you can swap places with it and stuff, which is obviously very, very good too. And you can make it attack. Yeah, you can make it do some stuff. Most of what you do with the echo is basically you can use it interchangeably with yourself. Um, yeah. Most of these effects, they've got specifics we're not going to go into, but it's like, oh, I can attack from this place or change to this place kind of stuff. Like you, mm. you basically almost count as being in both places. Yeah, um, yeah. And you can also like jump between them and stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. A lot, of, a lot of the action economy is like not, not getting like double. It's more like you can do it here or there. Yeah. yeah, 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 which which is it's also it's pretty cool, and I think what this subclass does the way that is actually is in here is it's very different to anything any other fighter does for one thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's giving fighter a lot of mobility options that they wouldn't usually have. Even if you were like the the um, the arcane knight uh, fighter, you wouldn't have like maybe if you had like misty step, that would be like something towards that sort of thing. So it's very u- unique. So that is a point in its favor, I think. It can move, I think, um, yeah, 30 feet, so you can make it move, like, your base speed, I suppose. I guess if you're playing, like, a... maybe Because it's meant to be, like, a different version of yourself, so maybe I would, like, pr- want that to be it can move your speed, because obviously if you're playing a dwarf in yeah, 25 or... that makes sense. I, I don't know if that would be, like, super balance-breaking, maybe for some later stuff. Eh. It just feels maybe... As an oversimplification to make it thirty, because again, like there are actually quite a few races that have either the the, the twenty five. Are there any that have higher than thirty base? Oh, uh, uh, Wood Elf. That's it. Yeah, Wood Elf yep. does. Okay, so the uh, so you get another thing at third, which I think is. I think a lot of subclasses do get two things in their like. I think it's two halves of the same coin. Yeah, um, yeah. A yeah. lot of them get like if they, if it's another thing, it's like it's supplements or yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so this one at third level, you can also make when you attack, you can make an attack from the echo as well. So it's. Multi attack, but from a different thing, as it were, mm. mm-hmm. and you can use that up to your constitution modifier. It's like um, the war domain cleric. Yeah, what? yeah. They get those bonus action attacks, so they basically have multi attack at level one. Yeah, but it uses a resource. Exactly. Um, so it's like it gives you a bit of a boost, and it kind of adds to the flavor of like maybe like you and your echo either side of one guy wailing on him kind of thing. I'm assuming that the weapon attack that the Echo has is the same as your one. I'm trying to see if it says that, that anywhere. I'm not. It's not. It doesn't say that it has like a, a different attack. So I assume it is I assume with your it, weapon. It being a copy of you, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It does say whenever you take the attack action, you can make one additional melee attack from the Echo's position. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it is so using, using your, your weapon attack. attack. Yeah. 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 We're like in untrodden ground with a lot of this, so the the wording of things, it, 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 from what I've seen, it's been quite good at being specific. And that's yeah. what I was actually impressed with. One thing reading through this was the fact that it's quite a complex concept, yeah. um, but it's written in such a way that it's not needlessly handicapping itself to try to sure. prevent <laughs> some things. Like normally, these spells are full of caveats and yeah like, like yeah. oh you got if, yeah, if yeah. this happens or yeah exactly Z, yeah totally which obviously like has to be there to a certain extent but, yeah um, well it basically yeah. like justified itself entirely in one sentence basically going like oh yes this thing exists and it does take up space it can be destroyed and it like in like one yeah, sentence yeah. it did what normally in a lot of these it's like <laughs> the bard of creation we did not too long ago like yeah, oh exactly. so much text i think and that's, yeah. that, that's the difference i guess between the unearthed arcanas which are you know just test stuff and uh, a published book which yeah. is obviously a polished uh, product. Okay, so that's what you get at level 3. Obviously, fighters beyond that, I think you're going to get two sets of ability score improvements and your extra attack between this and 7, I, I believe oh, is what yeah, you get as fighter. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I I really like fighter. I don't know if we, have we... Have we talked about any fighters? I don't think we have, have we? No, we talked about the psychic, psychic fighter. Yeah. It's a psychic fighter, which is... Yeah, I, I really different. like fighter, just as a, yeah. a, gen, a class in general, um, which is why passionate about what I would like a subclass of a fighter to be because it's a class I I would like and I would like to like find that next fighter I want to be playing. But yeah, okay. Echo Avatar is your seventh level thing. This is actually really cool. What I like about it for one thing is it's not like an explicitly combat 
ability. From what I remember, actually, there's a, uh, there's a couple of uh, fighter subclasses, things like samurai, which get like non combat abilities at Court certain levels. Effects. Yeah, yeah, which which is quite cool because it's like you, you're a fighter. That's it. You fight, but hey, you you could be more than just the guy who hit hit thing. You know, there's mm. there's a bit more to it. This basically lets you treat your avatar as a familiar. Yeah, you can you, you can you can see through its senses and up to it can be like up to a thousand feet away from mm. you, which is pretty pretty crazy. Mm. And because you can swap places with it with it early, can you swap places oh. with it if it's a thousand feet away? That's cool. That means you could do like some fairly risk free scouting of an area. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that's the the the, the obvious benefit. Yeah. Is that yeah, you can you can just go somewhere. Obviously, you could be way more inventive with it, and get, there's a whole host of things you can do. With I, I believe you definitely can because in the original instruction it says regardless of the distance between the two. Yes. Yeah, so a thousand. Mm. So you can be chasing the guy and and still. F- yeah, well, I guess you are blind, but then if you take the blind, if you use the honor <laughs> kind of blind fighting uh, fight style um, from a, a, a few uh, PDFs ago, because um, yeah, it's a bonus action, you can do it as well. I think that's totally legit. Um, yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. That's cool. And there's, there's going to be a moment when you you use it in a way that you hadn't thought of, and and it's really clutch, and everyone's congratulating you for your you, sick you get feet or the backpats. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, well done. Well done. Jolly good show. This is this is an example of a perhaps slightly ed- over the top name, <laughs> Shadow Martyr. It's, like, <laughs> like, it's cool. It's fine. It's, not, um, it's just a bit much. It's a it's, little over the top. It's, it's a, a, bit, it's it's a, a bit one piece evidence. villain attack. Is what it, it really is. is. Shadow Martyr. A little bit yeah. evanescence. It's just a little, and that's fine. It's it's it's, 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 like, it's very it's it's just one of those things because I'm. Again, not not somebody who's very familiar with Critical Role, and whenever I do occasionally like poke my head in to see what's going on, I see something like Shadow Martyr, and I go like, ah, this is weird. This well, isn't it's, me. It's like with the like it's like with the Blood but, Hunter, isn't it? Like, yeah, that, yeah. That's that's some, that's, there's some edge in that class, but they enjoy yeah. the they enjoy the the edge just as much as any teenager should. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the that's thing. Fine. Edge, edge isn't yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's just a, it's it, it it's not my my uh, my scene specifically. Mm. Anyway, yeah, Shadow Martyr level ten. Oh yeah, I I quite like this ability. This is similar to something I was in in my version of what this class would be. This is similar to something I would want. Basically, it can you can make your echo intercept an attack. Does that not include yourself? You can't make it like it, take a bullet for you. I don't think. I think you can because I think it's talking about cre- another creature. Meaning, oh, another creature as opposed to as opposed to the echo itself. Sure, itself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can go to take a bullet. Pretty cool, and it resets on short rest, which is good. It is your reaction. I, I appreciate that there's been more subclasses that have a use- unique uses for reactions. Cause Definitely. I think yeah. in, in like the base book, there's not a lot of reactions. Be- like opportunity attacks were like the main thing if yeah. you're going from like vanilla five e. And, and there's been more stuff that uses reactions, I think, in the last couple of years. Yeah, cool. I mean, this class is bonus actions, reactions, full actions. It's got like a, it's got a suite of what it can do. Yeah, and you and you've still got a second wind and stuff. You you're gonna be you're gonna be like, oh man, I wish I had two bonus actions this term. But, uh, <laughs> that's actually a fair point. I wonder how action action surge with a lot of this stuff we could get very complicated. That that is something I will say. I guess I guess about managing like a it's not like a it's not it's not as complicated as like managing two characters obviously but having mm-hmm. another thing on them it's always like another slightly more complicated thing but if you're choosing this class you know th- this is like the opposite of choosing what? champion because you've never played uh, a D&D and you just want to play yeah. the most simple I mean, if you're buying if is... you're buying the supplement and going for it you probably, yeah, yeah. probably a, you can handle it you you you've got you've got a big gamer brain you can do it that's true yeah. <laughs> your echo is something that's going to be handled entirely by you Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. not like summoning uh, uh, an elemental or something, you know, that maybe is more handled by the DM. And it doesn't have that like HP, big HP pool that you'll have to track. It get hit, it go. So, yeah, yeah, it's not something you ever worry about for that. And uh, again, you're talking about this edginess, reclaim potential, reclaim potential. <laughs> so yeah, That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when your echo gets destroyed, you get temporary hit points. It's not loads. This is fifteenth level, so it's, level, like, it's, it's not... like two to six plus con. It's not but it loads. couples great with the next one and the one before it, which is red, where you can exactly, protect yeah. yourself and gain temps. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, like any amount of temporary hit points is gonna be good. The fact that temporary hit points don't stack at fifteenth level, there's a lot of like quite good spells and sources of getting mm. temporary hit points. So mm. it might be the case where 
if this happens early on in a fight, then you've already got them, and you'd be like, I don't... Here's a bit of the, the iffy, like, oh, that's kind of cool. There's no limit on how many times you can summon your Echo. Exactly. I was yeah. wondering that, yeah, because yeah, I, I didn't see anything resource-tied, so yeah, you can just keep doing it, right? Yeah, you can just keep doing it. It's a bonus action, summon the Echo. So it's... Uh, when you get to, like, the, the... They limit these extra effects rather than limiting the Echo itself. Yeah, which, it's yeah. cool. Which means you've got more stuff to do with it. You're all, like... you're, you, can, you can always muck around with your Echo. Yeah. yeah. And again, the, the Echo's like base effects are very good, but they're not like crazy. It's just a, it's just basically... It, it's like having a very good mobility, I mean, yeah. essentially. That, it, that, yeah. does, that does play quite well, because you, you, you know, potentially like, if you're getting hit most turns, like every other turn you, you, you could be gaining back you know, like 12 hit points, 10 hit points. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, up. And again, as you say, with the, the 18th level thing, when you can have two of them... Mm. You could get a pretty, you know, it, it could a reasonable like supply of uh, temporary hit points. Any it, amount of like basically damage reduction at is that it, level is, is going to be is good. Lovely, yeah. You want to? Yeah. It's just a nice little buffer. You're going to be, and potentially as a fighter, you're going to be getting hit a lot. So topping that up, well, you, you'll be expected it... to be right in the middle of the fight. So. Yeah, yeah. It also these echoes do occupy their own space. I yes. think this is something yeah. that should be kind of mentioned. They do occupy yeah, space. In my in my drawing, they do not. I that that is true. Uh, but uh, yes, they they are their own like dude, as Wh- it were. Which means that positioning wise, you can use them to hold your flanks. Mm-hmm. That's you true. Can, yeah, if you're playing with flanking, yeah, yeah. You can use them for flanking. You can use them to hold up an area and opportunity attack with them. Theoretically, you could do some horrendous stuff if they all have spears. <laughs> That's true. Like, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Particularly with the next ability, which is basically you get double echoes. You have two of them. Uh, yeah. You could fill up, like, an entire battle map with, like, zone of control. If you're, yeah. like. Yeah, pikes. Pikes and sentinels. If you're bugbear mm. pike sentinels, like, just. <laughs> oh my god! Just. Would, um, would your feet, like. Work through them. I would say yes, but it's I don't your know. attacks. It's not them. It is I mean, your, yes, your attacks. Attack. Yeah. So yeah. So your feats would work. Yeah. It's a central. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a bugbear echo echo knight with spikes. It's the most like stupid <laughs> character. I've I, ever I, I love it's, it. It's very funny. The, the bugbears. Uh, <laughs> the bugbears are part of the uh, the crin, so it's not too far away. Oh, is it actually? Yeah. Is it law friendly? It's oh, no. almost law friendly. <laughs> it's almost, almost law friendly. friendly. You, you, okay. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, last ability, Legion of One. Yeah, you can make you can make yeah. when you use a bonus action, you can make two. So it's not you make one and then next turn make another. You can make two with the one bonus. So that's that's already good. A- and what would be in any other class is eighteenth level ability. <laughs> yeah, mm. when you roll initiative and you have no uses of your unleash incarnation. That's... You get a use of that feature, which is almost almost word for word the same as the eight, like the twentieth level bard ability. And we don't need um... to talk about how bad that is. <laughs> poor, poor bards. Poor bards. I'm like, so it basically means that every combat you've got one extra attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. because you have two echoes, I believe they'll both get the extra attack. Okay. Meaning that, like, that's good. You, you can get some. Um, is, is it you can make one? Oh, uh, you hunt your echoes fury whenever you take the attack. Action, you can make one additional melee attack from your echoes position. Yeah, I mean it, that is that. That's probably the least, the most ambiguous bit of wording. But I, I, I could see the, I could see the argument for either. It doesn't say either. from an echoes position. Yeah, from yeah. yeah, that's the thing. And the class only talks about them singularly until that last ability. Yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely say that you could do both because that's kind of the point. Yeah, because why, why point, would you want? And mm, it, yeah. it would lead to some horrendous <laughs> high level fighter action surge rounds where oh God, yeah. you will yeah. get like three, five, 15 attacks or something. Like, yeah, yeah. just wailing on a guy. And you could get in zone of control of them and have them hit everyone and reduce their movement all to zero. And like, I think as like fighters go, it's very unique, plays very differently and cool. And it, it's more complicated than a lot of the other fighters, but I don't think it's actually like unmanageably like mm. weird. It's it's just going to be a case of having another miniature and remembering what you can do with what kind of action. I think that's yeah, probably that's the most it. difficult thing that's going to be around it. I, I don't I don't think like the 
subclass like bloats you with loads of like things to keep track of. Because you are fighting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you get these slowly over like multiple yeah. levels. Yeah. You'll get you'll get to grips with them. It's not like I don't, it doesn't seem very wrong to me. It's not like a spell list. It's not like no. hitting a new level and getting like ten more spells to choose from. You're like, ah, oh. <laughs> which ones uh, are you going to prepare? <laughs> Yeah, we'll be prepared for All three of these, I don't think there's a dud level. And a lot of okay, these yeah, classes yeah. we look through, there seems like there's a all right. Like yeah, there's a like, level where it's like that's that's fine. It's not bad. Obviously, it's just yeah. a case of like, yeah, there's got to be one which is like I don't think like the issue of balance needs to come up in D and D that much, just because it's cooperative. It's not competitive. I mean, mostly it isn't competitive. S- sometimes it can hinder fun of things. Op. I don't know if this is op. Fighter is a good class. It might. This might be better than like some other fighters. <clears throat> okay, fight. Um, mm. it's, it's, I don't think that's too big an issue. At its core, this guy gets more attacks and more mobility. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to be hogging all the limelight, which is what would be the main issue with like a certain class for me. Sure. Yeah. Like if some if some class like oh I can do everything great. So now fear. Why do you hate this class? So I don't much? hate why, it. Why are you so full of rage? Okay, my issue comes with the the. I I really like the concept, right? The yes. idea of these are echoes of different timelines of yourself, right? Yeah. So why the hell are you controlling them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I would want, and this because what I want, this is a great opportunity for one of my favorite things, which is a random table. Get those tables in. There's like two scenarios that I want to like describe. A, there's the seeing your echo getting killed by an attack. <laughs> that then you are able to avoid because you know, that that one died in its universe, which is one of the things that's going on in what I've drawn. Dark Souls, you know, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, like seeing the the ghosts of other players and stuff. Yeah, and there's also the moment where you hit a guy and also so do your all your echoes because. There isn't a universe where you didn't hit that guy real good. <laughs> it's inevitable. It's 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 consistent in... across every timeline. You you crit that guy in the face. I don't know how it would work. I love it. Mm. <laughs> that that's like the what I would want from this class. And again, like I think you could have like you could have like a random table where they would have to all be like good, but not super good, and also like applicable. So this that is difficult. So maybe like. I'm not. I'm not sure how. It I um. I have some things that I would do. I was very interested to see if you'd come up with the same thing as me. But sure. you, uh, my idea for what would be been really cool for this is if your echoes had different equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, I did think about that. So yeah, if if they couldn't use if they if you. <laughs> If they had to use like a different piece of equipment to you, as it were. Yeah, like I, I would, I could. That could be cool. It's, it's part in the flavoring and stuff, but the idea of like, I like that this, in different dimensions. Yeah, yeah. that this yeah. is yeah. a different you. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, because right now it's just a case of I'm summoning a copy of myself that walks around. I'd like them to have like funny cosmetic differences as well. Yeah, like oh, this, I, I this want to see. I, I want to see comic, full on comic book, like different versions. Of oh, yeah, like, yeah, like Spider Verse level. Give me some different everyone. Yeah, because the, then it would be a reason for you to have like a couple of really good like magic weapons that you're attuned to. Because you could like you could be a fighter who's got a you know a pike or something. It's like a magic pike, and then mm. also you have got a magic bow, and then your alternate reality one is like the bow guy, or or is a tank, and then yeah, I, I think it, you find a reality where that is the case. Yeah, because the whole point of the idea of like an alternate reality like thing like that is that you're looking at the differences mm. and maybe getting some advantage from either tr- trying to apply so- a good thing that something else did or avoid something bad that happened to another one, as it mm. were. Yeah, a- and what is what the class is is basically summoning a mi- a minion that you can tell it's 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 it's, more, it's almost like a warlock like thing with the um with a lot of like what you can do with your uh, bit, 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 uh, uh familiar yeah I, I i get you with that i get what we're describing again is inherently more complicated than this which is <laughs> yes yeah. it would be it would be more complicated. um but like the, the simple concept of of like for instance you're being able to equip your familiar with your echo with uh, not equip but maybe your echo just has uh better armor and a shield and when you use your ability to get him to take a hit, the attack has to yeah. roll against his AC. And he's got so, AC. Yeah. so then it's like, oh, there's a shield version of me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 an even more heavily armored guy, and it would be, yeah. it could be so fun to describe the alternate versions of you. 
It gives you a bit more like utility as well, doesn't it? It's yeah, fun. yeah. Like, like I want to see the you that's been through some stuff, <laughs> yes. right? And he has a he's great a... sword, and he's like shirtless. He's like, he's like, <laughs> like nuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking like there's a lot of moments where like you could have a, a, a ability where like when an echo dies, that could be like a moment of like getting temporary hit points, mm. which isn't there already. And the, the way I'm imagining that, like you you see this guy die to an attack that would have hit you <laughs> in an alternate reality, like and and that inspires you to like I get it, like, yeah. No, to and not and die. that's what's giving you to hit points. Yeah, like I, I don't know. I think there's a class. Your version of the class. I think the echoes aren't corporeal running around the map. No, and and they are in your square with you. Yes, as well. That's another thing. That, yeah, it's basically and, almost like you get visions of the timelines, kind of like. Yeah, yeah. You can see, you, so you can see all the bad ends happening around you. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say basically you're playing the what is about what we may cover the crunt the the time wizard. Well, but as yeah. a fighter, like. Yeah, yeah, and I think that also again, what I'm thinking of could easily be a, like a monk who's like in yeah. tune with some pretty much any class. It's not like fighter specific. So this is that's just that's just my what I would like. And the only reason why I'm annoyed at this class because of that is because this class exists. That means there will never be that class. Not that there was likely to be that class, mm. but they would not retread that this, same yeah, ground. Yeah, this guarantees it. Yeah, maybe I'll make my class. Maybe I'll write it up. I don't think I will. It's yeah. a lot of work. There's a lot of abilities for fire. I also want to say that you you made my Dark Souls three character in this. Uh, yeah, man. And... I, made it, I made it everyone's Dark Souls. Yeah, three I thought it was a very Dark Souls night. <laughs> no, that album was great from the DLC. But yeah, the yeah um, the, the Rune Knight helm. Yeah, it's cool. The... I also quite like that the pose is very much reminding me of uh, an agent from the Matrix One. You know, like all the dodging, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be like morphing into each other, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the one on the front is has been hit by this axe and has been split in half, and then the one on the backs, you know, like fighting whoever's behind him, and he's like, oh, I guess I'll block that. Then that's mm. coming in. Although it's not, he might he might be he's damaged his weapon. It's gonna have a minus one damage penalty to it as a result. Yeah. I, uh, again, though, in, in general, I think that this is a good, uh, this is a good, this is a good class, but I feel I f- there is potential here for some very fun things they didn't do. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's good and it's unique, so it's hard to criticize it on, like, any actual, like, standpoint beyond, like, it, I don't think it had to be what it is to have these abilities. Like, mm. th- th- it could have been. I don't, I don't, I don't they don't know. need to be echoes. They they could just be familiars or or summons or sure, something like yeah. they. The flavor doesn't need to be this. Yeah, yeah. It's just a case where like uh, it's a cool idea. It's not done poorly. It's just it's, 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 the idea has inspired like different things. It's like it's like oh man, if only. I think that's the end of this video. Mm. I hope you liked it. Uh, please forgive me for not knowing anything about Critical Role. Don't forgive Sam though. You can give him, you can you can complain. No, oh. Give us both, and and praise Neil for his knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know I know, be... I know most of the characters' names and think they're pretty cool. Oh, oh yeah, like, oh yeah. I... Who does Talison <laughs> play? Oh, uh... <laughs> no, but he's the team. Oh, 